Welcome. My name is Thomas Mitchell. I am an Azure content author at Cloud Academy, and I've had over 25 years of IT experience, several of those with cloud technologies. The Azure Key Vault protects cryptographic keys and secrets that are used by cloud applications and cloud services. With the Key Vault, you can encrypt keys and secrets with HSM protected keys. HSM, by the way, stands for Hardware Security Modules. Keys and secrets that you can encrypt with the Key Vault include such items as storage account keys, data encryption keys, PFX files, authentication keys, and even passwords. Leveraging Key Vault allows you to streamline the key management process, allowing you to maintain control of keys that are used to access and encrypt your data. Developers and resource owners can create specific keys for access to development environments within minutes. As a matter of fact, the keys created for development can then be seamlessly migrated to production keys if necessary. Security administrators, of course, can control access to keys by granting and revoking permissions to them. Keys in the Azure Key Vault can be used for signing and verifying data, protecting other keys, and for encrypting and decrypting data. If you want the Azure Key Vault to create a software protected key for you, use the add Azure Key Vault key command. It's a relatively simple command and only requires a few switches. As you can see on the screen, I've got my PowerShell session opened. I'm connected to my Azure tenant already, and I have my Key Vault called Blue Widget Key Vault already provisioned. To create the new key in the Key Vault, I'm going to run the add Azure Key Vault key command. And with it, I'm going to specify the name of the vault, the name that I want to call the key that I'm creating, and whether I want to store the key as a software protected key or an HSM protected key. The command that I ran here creates a key named my first key in the Key Vault named Blue Widget Key Vault and it adds it as a software protected key as defined by the software value in the destination switch. If I wanted to store the key as an HSM protected key, I would have specified HSM as the value for destination instead. To view the URI for my newly created key, I just need to call the key ID that's stored in the key variable from this command above. To do that, I simply type key period ID. So essentially, I'm calling the ID attribute of the key variable. When I hit enter here, the URI of my first key is returned. This URI is significant because the keys created or uploaded to the Azure Key Vault are referenced by URIs. The fact that we can retrieve the key's URI tells us that the key creation has actually been successful. We can further confirm the existence of this newly created key by running the get Azure Key Vault key command and specifying the blue widget key vault and my first key. So what I'll do here is copy this command into my session here. As you can see, we've got get Azure Key Vault key and we're simply specifying the name of the key and the vault name. When we hit enter here, you can see that the command confirms that my first key is stored in the vault. Now the only required switch is vault name when we run this command. However, by specifying that name switch up here, we can retrieve just the key that we're interested in. In addition to creating new keys, Azure Key Vault allows you to import existing keys as well. Since we've already worked through the process of creating a new key in the Key Vault, let's work through the process of importing an existing software protected key using the add Azure Key Vault key command. 
In this demo, I'm going to walk you through this import process. I have here in my keys folder a software protected key called swkey.pfx. This exported key is protected with a password. I used A123456Z exclamation point to secure this key when I exported it from my workstation. To upload this key to my key vault in Azure, I first need to store this password in a variable using the convert to secure string command. I can then access the key and import it from the PFX file into my key vault. As you can see on the screen here, I'm converting the exported key's password to a secure string and storing it in the secure PFX PWD variable. Hitting enter runs this command and it usually doesn't do a whole lot. We're just saving a value to a variable. However, when it finishes, I can then import the key from the PFX file by running the add Azure Key Vault key command that I'm going to paste into the PowerShell session right now. When importing a software protected key using this command, we need to specify the key file path and the key file password. The key file path switch references the path to the PFX file that we're going to import. The key file password is the secure password that we need to access the PFX file. That's the password we stored up here in the secure PFX PWD variable. Hitting enter here will create the key and store it in the vault. We can display the URI for this imported key by typing key ID at the PowerShell prompt. So we can go ahead and type in our command here to pull up the URI for our newly imported key. Now, as you can see here, the full URI references my imported PFX. The my imported PFX key is the name of the key that we imported in our command. Now to view the actual key, we need to use the get Azure key vault key command. I'm going to go ahead and paste that command into our window here. And as you can see on your screen, this command is essentially identical to the one we used previously to view the newly created key, except in this case, we're just specifying my imported PFX as our key that we're interested in. We can go ahead and hit enter here. And what it's going to do is return some key attributes about our imported key. It's going to tell us when it was created, when it was updated, and it gives us the vault name along with the ID. Now, if we wanted to view the properties of this imported key or really any other keys in our key vault, we could go into our Azure portal, as you can see here on the screen, browse into our actual key vault here, and select keys. On the screen here, you can see that the portal tells us we have two keys in our vault, my first key, which we created, and my imported PFX, which we imported. Clicking on either one of those pulls up properties for those keys. So with that said, if you're ready to learn, let's get started.